She Geeked On here. Welcome to my first unboxing video. <laughs> I decided to try one of those services that delivers the not so perfect produce to your door. It's the type where maybe there's some blemishes, it grew in a weird shape, whatever it was, but it can't be sold in grocery stores because people will look at it funny or they'll just leave it and they'll take the pretty ones. So it's the ugly produce is basically what we're talking here. So I went with the brand Imperfect Foods and they offered a discount. If you want to try it out, I'm not sure how long this lasts for, but the discount code was GROCERY20, GROCERY20. Might still work. So in this video, along with the unboxing, I'm going to take you through what it looks like on the website, how to sign up. Uh, and once you do sign up, what it looks like behind the scenes when you go get into the grocery portion of it. So enjoy the show. And if you're really just curious about what the box looks like, skip ahead about five or six minutes and that's where I get to it. As mentioned, the box I chose was Imperfect Foods. They have a pretty easy to navigate website. Or you can get started right away or you can read through what they're up to why you should buy from them <clears throat> and all the sorts of things that you'll get so this is basically how it works you keep you choose your starter option which <clears throat> includes choosing dietary considerations they offer vegetarian option, low carb, among other things, which is nice. And then they suggest what boxes you should get. There's always the produce box because that's the whole point of imperfect foods. But then they'll suggest, for example, for the low carb option, which I chose, they'll suggest the meat and fish box as well. Then you shop for groceries. In my delivery zone, they deliver on Wednesdays and the shopping window is open from Friday at three through noon on Monday. What that means is you go to the site and you choose what you want. They actually show you what's already in the box chosen for you based on the size box you get because you can get small, medium or large and any of the extras like, like the meat and fish box, that kind of thing. Or there's a snack box as well. So they show you what's already available and then you can go through and choose what you want. The other thing you can do is you can mark down when you have foods you never want to have in your basket. For example, if you go in and you decide you never need to have potatoes, put that on your never send me box. If you decide you always want potatoes, put it on your recurring box. So that, that way, every single time you have a box, there'll be potatoes in it. It's pretty simple. Once you go into your account and it's time for you to shop, this is the sort of thing you see. Over here on the right is what's actually going to be delivered in the box. I've actually gone ahead and added and taken things out. Um, but you can see everything I've got going on. <clears throat> like I added squash they didn't have any squash in there and I'm like this is a time of year for squash so squash cauliflower yellow onion apples brussels sprouts all these good things and then there's non-produce which includes meat fish cheese they actually had some grass-fed beef on here to begin with but I already have ground beef in the fridge so I don't need any more right now but Something different like the turkey tenderloin. I don't know. Sounded different. Seemed to be a good price. So I got that. So here you can also see my grand total. Um, I got that 20% discount using grocery 20. I don't know how long that's valid for. But I'd say it's a good deal if you can get it still. Um, and my box is a $28. That's not bad for all of this. But basically... Let's just go up here and close the cart and I'll show you the rest. 
If you've ever done grocery shopping online, you've seen this sort of thing. That's all it is. It's just online grocery shopping, but they have a very specific arrangement of groceries. For example, you probably won't be finding this no evil plant-based meatless chicken comrade cluck <laughs> everywhere. But hey, they have it. If that's what you want to try, put it on your list. They have fruits and veggies and cheeses. They have creams and dairies and lunch meats. They even have, you know, you can go all the way down here and get coffee. Cold brew coffee. Ground coffee. That was tempting. I almost got the ground coffee. But I decided not this time around because I want to try more of just the produce, meat, and fish kind of options they have. So that's what you get. I know I'm making you all dizzy with this at this point. Um, and if you need a bigger box, order's over $60 right now, free delivery. Um, but yeah, so they've got all the things on their page if you want to know how everything works, how they categorize things. Um, you know, what does it mean that it's imperfect? All of that. And that's it for now. And we'll do the unboxing next. There's the box. They delivered it right to the doorstep. So that's pretty impressive. Nice doorstep delivery. And now we get to see what's inside. And here we go with the Imperfect Food unboxing. So, let's see, this is probably things that have to be chilled. So, yeah, we have Norwegian smoked salmon. This is the turkey tenderloin, I think. Garlic, pepper, turkey tenderloin. That's actually a pretty decent size. So that's pretty good. What else is in? I don't remember what else was in here. Oh, hey, you get an ice pack. Woohoo. Uh, <laughs> that makes sense, I guess. Is there anything else? Oh, yep. I got goat cheese. So, we have that bag out of the way. And then this is the rest. It's actually pretty good. Um, each of these bags is a half pound of Brussels sprouts. They're actually in nice condition. They, they look good. Like, I don't know what's imperfect about these. They look pretty good. And it's a little weird that the onions are not in some kind of bag, but there's a pound's worth of onions. Um, why these are imperfect, I don't know. I'm trying to find, like, figure out what's imperfect about these things. I have a cauliflower. Maybe the wrapping on the cauliflower is imperfect in some way. Because the cauliflower itself, I mean, it looks not even a blemish from, from the wrapped version of it. And a nice big spaghetti squash. It's got, a, okay, it's got this marking on it. It's got one little nick here. So maybe that makes it imperfect. <laughs> I have one avocado. <laughs> I know Kylan's thrilled that I got an avocado. Um, but limes, I got three limes. They're, they're very firm. They're not squishy. They have, you know, slight discoloration maybe. That's not going to kill that. And then apples, they give me about a pound's worth or so of apples. So about four apples in a pound. That's not bad. And an acorn squash or butternut squash. Is that butternut acorn? This is acorn squash, right? Yeah. I mean, it's got this kind of blemish right here, but that's just on the surface, the way it grew. That's not... So, yeah. Um, overall, I'd say I'm pretty happy with this. 
I mean, if I put everything back in. I mean, this is, this in itself would be just the basic produce box. And then, obviously, I got the turkey, the goat cheese, and smoked salmon. So all of this with, with the, uh, with the, the delivery charge was $28. I don't think that's all that bad. I mean, I've bought Brussels sprouts and squash. and Like, I've bought pretty much all of this stuff before. Like, well, I bought that tenderloin and stuff because I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I figured I'd give it a try. But I think for $28 delivered to my door, that was pretty good. Of course, that was with the discount. So we'll see what it looks like if I feel okay, you know, adding a few extra bucks to that. Um, when there's no discounted price, but this will do for definitely a few meals. So 28 bucks really is a decent price. So that's the imperfect foods box. As you saw, you get to pick and choose a lot of what goes in there. I mean, honestly, you could have just emptied out the entire box and put in everything you wanted to have it delivered. It's essentially a grocery service. But as I said, when I was showing you the different things available on the website, it's not really your standard brand name groceries. A lot of them are small brands or more exclusive brands, organic stuff, the sort of thing maybe you'd see at Whole Foods instead of Giant Eagle. Hopefully you know what those are where you are. <laughs> if not, um, you know, something you won't necessarily see in your standard grocery store. But I think... For the $28 I paid for this particular box, it's it was a good deal. I'm pretty happy with everything that showed up in it. Um, we'll have to see next time, and we'll also have to see if I decide to keep it weekly or go every two weeks, which is an option, which I think is a good option. And uh, small, medium, large box. This was the medium box, $28. Like I said, go to Imperfect Foods. Might still have the deal available with the grocery 20 discount and uh, I don't get anything out of it so <laughs> don't um this is not like an a, an ad specifically for them this was legitimately me trying out this service and uh, seeing what it's like and for me it worked out let me know subscribe put something in the comments do you use a service like this do you use one of the other ones is there one uh, is there another one I should be looking at there's no contract that's keeping me to this one in particular so if there's another one I should try, just let me know. I'll give it a shot. I'm willing to do comparison videos and everything. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're having a good one. Bye for now.